13th of April 2021. My name is Sergey Baklikov. You're watching Baklikov Live here. The live streams, IRL and real live streams every day. I'm in St. Petersburg. This is the historic city center. And today we are exploring, walking live the uh, English Avenue. Anglitsky Prospect. English Prospect. English Avenue. Anglitsky Prospect. Anglitsky Avenue. <laughs> Well, in Russian language, Anglitsky Prospects. Omar Selfion, thank you, thank you. The super chat from the very beginning, keep up the good work. So today exploring English Avenue. It is named after English embankments, which is not far from here. Uh, that's historically the place, the neighborhoods where English merchants were settling down here in St. Petersburg. And uh, so in 1856, they named that street that goes from, look, that goes from uh, Moiko River to Fantanko River. English, English Avenue, English Embankments in 1856. But from eight, uh, 1918 to 1994, it was called Mocklin, Mocklin Avenue, named after John Mocklin one of the heads of British Socialist Party. Uh, but then, uh, so when uh, the uh, socialism gone here, it came the time of New Russia. So it was renamed back to its historic name, English Avenue. Let's get it started. Brian Abbey, thank you. Thank you so much. It's 1909, English Embankment House number one. It used to be the residential building in a style of Art Nouveau for the officers of New Admiralty, but now here is located an all Russia Research Institute of Oceanology. Names after Igor Gramberg, one of the most significant specialists in oceanology. There's right in front. In front, Alexeyevsky Palace, the palace of uh, Grand Prince Alexei Alexandrovich. He was the son, the fourth son of uh, Emperor Alexander II and uh, his wife, Empress Maria. Okay, English Avenue. goes from Moika, by the way, never forget that uh, a little bit more than a week ago I was walking all the way through the embankments of Moika. Now we walk through the streets <coughs> that goes all the way from the embankments of Moika River to the embankments of Fantanka River and Glinsky Prospects. Look, this is also actually the buildings of uh, the um, um, of the palace, Alexeyevsky Palace. Now there's like it is uh, the uh, St. Petersburg House of Music. It's like an assistant building. Here is the playground. The guys are playing football. Here in Russia, when we say football, we really mean, mean, we mean soccer. It always means soccer because the American football actually not popular here in Russia at all. Same as baseball. You no, know, baseball and American football is not here. Uh, is not popular here in Russia at all. Sport number one here: an ice hockey and uh, soccer. Everybody here in Russia loves hockey for a speed and power.
well traditional like everywhere in the historic city center here we are gonna meet the mansions mostly the mansions and the revenue house what i mean with the mansion when i'm talking about the mansion it's like the house which used to belong to only one person or like one family but if we're talking about the revenue house that was the multi-flat multi-apartments building residential building which also had like only one owner but uh, initially the whole house was created for was created for um, uh, for giving it to rent for giving it for rent It's a uh, relatively quiet street. I, I'm not even sure why it's called Prospect, because Prospect in uh, Russian understanding, it's uh, like an avenue. It's usually a busy street, but this one is not. Probably it used to be. It's kind of wide. It's not too wide for uh, avenue in uh, modern understanding of it. But I think it was kind of wide back in 19th century. You remember, I told you that in 1856 it was founded and named English Avenue, named after English embankment, the historic settlements of uh, English merchants. Then, as I said, they renamed it in the Soviet years. They renamed it to John McLean. Well, they never said John McLean. They said they were saying McLean Prospect. Prospect McLean. McLean. John McLean, one of the heads of uh, uh, British Socialist Party. Here is the um, playgrounds for the kids of this neighborhood the weather in St. Petersburg is not as cool as it used to be uh, yesterday but still still pretty cool well not 65 today but 45 which is also okay which is okay Especially if you're in the cold, it's, it's good. Good walking weather, Christine Katsuba. Yes, it is. You know, when it's too hot in the summer, you can. When it's, uh, how to say, like cool. A little bit cold even you can just you can just get more you can just dress better you can just put on a uh, warm coat and that's it the main thing not to be a wind i hate the wind usually not too much you can make uh, against the wind but fortunately not too much wind 
not too much wind in St. Petersburg these days. There was some windy days last week and I was actually surprised that it seemed like in a winter we had way less windy days than we recently had like a week ago. This is an intersection with Dikabristov, December Street. There's Yanni Kirik, Estonian Lutheran Church. Decembris, that's the streets, if you remember where it's located. Mariinsky, an old Mariinsky theater. The new scene of Mariinsky, the new scene of Mariinsky theater, known as Mariinsky 2, and the concert hall of Mariinsky. The bike rentals smart bike do you think this bike is really smart well i'm sure at least these bikes are smarter than some of the trolls that sometimes are coming the far thing miguel onyx big rory holler uh chess brown madura s Jay Lewis, Neil McDonald, and Volkovo. Everybody, everybody, hi, Ronda Price. Was Patriots, Russian Jeep. Another Patriots. Sergey, I've got an error. Wow. What an error. The stream is over. Stream got disconnected. What the hell? What the hell? Wait. Wait. So we got back, dudes, we got back, you see me now, oh, what a day, what a day, what a day, at first I started just the wrong stream, now this stream, there's an error, stream fine now, okay, 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 you see me, okay, hey, oh, uh, God. Damn, damn. Stream got disconnected. Back, okay, back. The revenue houses. Former revenue houses. All these revenue houses were reconstructed or into the residential buildings or into the business centers sometimes into the schools 
maybe uh, music schools. Now, here is the intersection with another avenue, another prospect. That's how we call avenues in Russia, prospect. Prospect Nikolaya Rimskova Korsakova. Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov Avenue. By the way, I still have to visit the uh, Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov Museum Apartments, Memorial Museum Apartment at Zagrodny Avenue. Because when on Saturday we went to listen to the solo harp concert, uh, actually we never got to the museum apartment itself. the embankment of Grybayedov Canal. Anglitsky Prospect, it goes, it goes from Moiko River to Fontanko River, intersecting also Grybayedov Canal, just like Nevsky, but just not as long as Nevsky. St. Isidore Church. technical difficulties are you guys still experience uh, technical difficulties
amazing revenue houses Now here is the intersection of English Avenue and Sadove streets. The intersection right here at the Turgenev Square. Turgenev, one of the uh, classics of Russian literature. A little bit more than a week ago I was walking here. I was walking here when I was walking all the way through Sadove the Garden Street. This is the residential building where in 1915 here was one of the very first movie theaters called Royal Star. The bay windows. I really love the bay windows. Turgenev Square, Turgenevsky. It's a nice oasis for this neighborhood, which is called Kolomna. Kolomna neighborhoods. It's a mini district of the Admiralty district. Kolomna municipal district. You can see on a bench. There's if you need water closet. Playground for kids. Uh, the trams are riding all the time. Beautiful architecture, mostly of uh, the middle and the end of 18th century, uh, 19th century. still looking forward how just like I believe in two weeks maximum three weeks it all will be green there full of green leaves
here was the place to take care about poor people. Now here is a managing company, one of the managing companies to take care about uh, the buildings here in this neighborhood, like communal service, that's how we call it, communal service. Почта России, Post Office, Russian Post Office, local branch, one of the local branches. Well, if you've noticed, way way more quiet district than uh, district of uh, Nevsky it's mostly residential buildings residential areas uh, some restaurants but not as much and uh, not as much of uh, the sightseeing here as well if you've noticed so that's how for only <coughs> 30 minutes <coughs> 30 minutes uh, English Avenue started from the intersection with the embankments of Moiko River and came now to the embankments of Fantanka River On the other side, already there on the embankment of Fontan River, this is a paper mill. And uh, this is a very important paper mill because here exactly they are making not just the paper, but they are making the paper for the bills, Russian ruble bills. The hotel, which was called Sovietska, the Soviets, 1960. Now this is the hotel called Azimut. Azimut, it's a big chain of hotels in Russia nowadays. And yeah, they actually love buying off the old Soviet hotels and uh, renovate them. And uh, reopen under their brand, Azimut. Fantanka. Pantanka River and there we see the blue dome of Troitsky Trinity Cathedral the time for one more live stream today now right after this one i will start another live stream walking all the way through top seven lines of saint petersburg well here in saint petersburg it's like uh, maybe several thousands of lines but today i'm going to show you seven of the most significant of them so right now go to my next live stream See you in three minutes. My name is Sergey Baklakov. This is Baklakov Live. See you.